Welcome to day two of our training. Thank you for joining us. And I can't wait for today's assignment because it's very exciting for me to see what you guys have to say. So um, I want to start today with a quote. And it goes, there's no greater agony than bearing an untold story. That is by Maya Angelou. If you don't know who she is, she's a great woman, a very inspirational person. So um, check her out. And um, let's talk about building your story and sharing your story. Um, the way that we invite people to join us is by sharing our story, by letting them know where we've been and what we've learned in order to accomplish what we have so far. You know, you don't need a huge transformation. Some of us don't have a huge transformation and some of us do. But the reason that we tell our story is to connect with people so that people can relate to us. And that's where the trust building begins. So um, today's assignment is going to help you clarify your story. It's going to help you reach um, a point where you can tell your story and be comfortable with it. So um, you're going to share this with the people that that you're talking to about what you're doing. You're going to share this with that contact list that you made yesterday. Um, and the more you practice it, the easier it'll get, the more natural it'll be. And I say practice it. It's not that you're making something up. This is your story, and everybody's story is a little bit different. But you do have to practice getting comfortable sharing something that's very personal to you. I know that was the case for me. I have, like I said uh, before, I have issues sharing things like that because they're very private, they're very personal. You know, your emotions are very personal to you. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to help you clarify your story. And doing this, we're going to talk about what drew you to Beachbody? What drew you? Was it a friend referring you, you know, telling you, hey, this is what's been working for me? She shared her story with you. So that's where it is. Was it maybe something you saw on an infomercial? Sometimes that, that's how we get here too. But whatever it is, whatever drew you to Beachbody, whatever made you choose Beachbody instead of anything else is going to help build your story. So um, first focus on what drew you to Beachbody. The second thing I want you to think about is what convinced you that this was the right thing for you? What convinced you that this was the right choice for you to begin a program, to become a coach? So I want you to think about that. Maybe write it down, um, just start journaling and thinking about what made you decide, you know what, this is something I want to do. The third thing I want you to think about is what are your goals? What are your goals? What are your fitness goals? What are your financial goals? Um, what are your family goals? And the fourth thing is what do you plan or what do you think that Beachbody can do for you? What do you hope that Beachbody can do for you, for your family, for yourself? So I want you to think about those things and I want you to write down your story. Put it on paper. Um, and practice it. Practice reading it to yourself. Is it really what my story is? Um, what is the true meaning for me to be a, a coach? What does that mean to me? So, like I said, the more you practice it, the more natural it becomes, the easier it flows out of your mouth. I know that I've practiced telling my story over and over again. I started out as a um, 21 day fix challenger and I saw so many results that my coach was getting her challengers you know, this is before I started coaching. I saw she would have all these challengers come out and they're like losing 15 pounds a week. Here I am busting my butt, running three miles a day, working with my cross country kids and I couldn't lose any weight. I was frustrated and I kept watching her post over and over and over. And finally I decided I'm going to try it. I did. And if it weren't for the support groups, if it weren't for her pushing me and, you know, checking in daily and having these great motivational groups, I, I wouldn't have finished the program. I, I honestly think I would have put it away like my Zumba DVDs because I have those. Um, it was the group, that support, that helped me become a coach and decide, you know what, if I can coach students, I can coach other people. I can help people who actually want to do this. So that's my story. 
And again, your story is going to be different than mine. Your story is going to be different than mine because we're different people. But I want you to write it down. So today's action items, write these down. This is what I want you to do today. Um, is for you to be a product of the product. You, in order for people to believe you and feel like they can trust you, you have to be doing what you say you're doing. So I want you to work out today, post a picture about it in the group, share that workout photo, share that Shakeology photo with your with our group, that you're make sure you're drinking your shake and that you're working out every day because that's how you get results. Okay? And the second thing is I want you to share your story, the one you wrote down, and share it here with our group. And I want you to tag me on your posts. Okay? Sorry, let me close that. So that's that's today's work. I can't wait to read those. So Thank you again for joining us.